Welcome everyone. This is Edwin K. Morris with Pioneer Knowledge Services and the show is Because You Need to Know. Our guest today, all the way from Switzerland, is Dr. Pavel Kraus. Pavel is a keynote speaker and serves as the president of the Swiss Knowledge Management Forum. He lectures on KM and innovation management at various universities in Switzerland. Welcome. Hello, Edwin. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you very much. This is a great new day here as we experiment with video production in this way we present and transfer knowledge. Today we've got a special item that's something you've been working on for quite some time. Can you tell us about that? Yes, um, we call it the three sphere model. It has been developed together with our uh, board members at the Swiss Knowledge Management Forum. And this model serves to explain how information and knowledge uh, are put together and we use it to make sure that we communicate very quickly and, and clearly what knowledge management is all about. So this is a, a recommendation or a practice that is used, advisable for any size organization to adopt? Correct. This is absolutely uh, regardless of the size, okay. could be for one person, a group, a whole organization, yes. Well, great. Well, I understand you've got something to show us, so let's see what you've got. Yeah, fine. So, uh, just to walk you quickly through what we see here. So, we have first the distinction between knowledge and information. And uh, since we have just recently uh, compiled a new glossary on uh, the top most important knowledge management terms. I am using this glossary. Knowledge is something that is bound to people and is present in the heads of people. And information is anything that is outside, that is documented knowledge. So explicit knowledge equals information. So this is the basic assumption for this model. Now, what we see here is the knowledge sphere. And as you see, the knowledge sphere has a leaf type shape. Why? Because it starts with a notion, with an idea, with a feeling. Then we discuss, it gets broader, and then it disappears because we are humans and we forget. <laughs> the information sphere is exactly the same form. So it starts here with maybe a few a few notes, a few, let me, let me say, uh, something like uh, a scrapbook, something like on a napkin. Then it becomes broader, it goes into reports, into PowerPoint slides and so on. But then also it becomes slimmer and it ends because it, you know, data graves, you know, repositories, you cannot find anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. this is the end of the information sphere. Because there's a usefulness, there's a shelf life inherent. Shelf life is a very nice expression. Okay, I get that. And A life cycle. How, yeah, yeah. You can say life cycle, so that would be something from the records management uh, arena. Ah. Now, what we want, however, we want action. So if we, if we look at Peter Senge's definition of knowledge, knowledge is the capacity for action, for effective action, then the action sphere, the third sphere, which is here in the middle, is the what we really want to be and to get at. Yeah. And this is the three sphere, and this is the basis, this is the core of the three sphere model. Mm -hmm. And what we now can discuss, which methods, which techniques are most appropriate for each of these three spheres. Well, that's exciting because you're bringing this in a very organic um, mindset that uh, there's a growth phase in both the internal and what I'm calling internal and external, but in the knowledge and the information because it, it develops. It develops either naturally or by effort. But either way, it develops, expands, gets to a point of kind of the end limit, and then tapers back down to zero again, if you will. Uh, and the effectiveness is in the middle. The effectiveness or the action is in that piece in between. 
Yes, this is a very nicely uh, expressed, Edwin. We can do a lot to expand it, and we can also omit a lot so it mm. disappears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for expressing. This is exciting. Uh, I love the, uh, the presentation, and I say we do it again. Okay, yes, would like to look well, forward have, to it. Have a great day. Thank you.